Yo, it's Poppy. It's your boy DJ Q back again with another vlog. Today I have a birthday party gig. This is one gig where I don't know what I'm getting myself into type of thing. I don't really know the client too too well or anything like that. It's a birthday party. She wants dancehall, soca, like Afro beats, stuff like that. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm excited. As a DJ, you have to be prepared for everything. It's still early right now. The gig is not until later tonight. It's like 119 right now. I actually have to call DJ Fries because I need help with this setup. It's my first time doing this kind of setup with two speakers so I need some advice on what exactly I need to do so he didn't pick up try I'm gonna check all in DJ Nitron to be honest I'm pretty sure he'll probably know yeah that's good yo you might you want to be in a vlog why not <laughs> I uh, DJ night shit in the cut for the setup for tonight basically um, they're saying it's gonna be 30 to 40 people so I'm gonna need like two speakers no um, one with two a two is also is always good to kind of right. create that symmetry I don't think it's a house though I think it's like at a hall that's the thing yeah, yeah that's another thing you have to you have to kind of verify like the space in a sense you know what two will be sufficient to keep them both next to you symmetry Oh, okay. Yeah, keep it symmetry. What, what kind of um, controller do you have? The SX2. You just be using the um the um NXRs. Oh. So one left, one right, and that's it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Yeah, just have a symmetry close to you, either close to you or a little bit out from you. Yeah. Um, like so right next to the DJ table, yeah. and just if you have to angle it. Because the majority of the speakers, they already had a 90 degree. Yeah. So just kind of turn it this way and you'll get your full symmetry that you need. Do you have anything you want to shout out? I'm going to put this on YouTube. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> Yo, big up for all the hard work you've been doing, man. I do not know why, why I'm up. I just came back from Vegas this morning. Oh, really? But I have a wedding expo to do tomorrow. So, you know, gotta get some just rest, man. stay on the grind, you know. Yeah, I hear that, I hear that. And, and big up to yourself, man. You're doing your thing. I'm, I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Thanks. <laughs> All right, then. All right, take care. Later, man. Yeah. I think to get the two, I think like, the two yeah. it's always better. You don't want to be in a situation where you get one and then you're like, oh, I should have got two. Yeah. This is just for the weekend, man. Yeah. Go straight in. Yeah. But if for some reason you need to go use it, if you were like, oh, I want to use the stuff on the mixer, mm -hmm. you just have to press in the mixer and enable button. Uh, I can come around. Yeah, just come here. Come right here. See if this is out. For protection, but only against theft. Is that something you want to get? Or? Um. Okay. Yeah. Alright y'all, I just got the speakers. I ended up getting the two speakers. I'm gonna definitely invest in some speakers because I think the price that he was saying for the speakers are not even as much as I was expecting, so. I wanna shout out DJ Fries. He said to make sure I put this in the vlog. This was bad where he was, so that's why he didn't pick up earlier. Also, one more thing that I'm gonna do that, a mistake that I usually make when I'm going to gigs is I wait till last minute to pack everything into the car and you know my speakers and my controller and everything if I want to leave home at 8 30 8 30 is when I'm starting to put stuff in the car so the time right now is 2 51 I'm gonna put my stuff in the car from now and another thing sometimes you got to turn off your phone when you're you're doing some stuff when you have a gig and stuff like that man don't get distracted you know what I mean everything is basically getting dismantled right now I already took out my poles table is already broken down I just need to get a few more stuff I also got everything packed in speakers over here controller table stands it's gonna go just relax for a bit maybe look over some music and stuff and then just just be ready for tonight I am on my way to the gig now window hat DJQ. Yeah, I heard a speaker banging in the back. Do you want to stop in security? No, no. Why? Do you think you should? It's up to you. DJQ hat. But yeah, y'all, it's like a 35 minute drive to the venue, so we should. What, secure it? Yes. Is it on? Oh, 
don't even know. I just have one of simple outfit today, you know what I mean? I got on the tech fleece, got on my BJQ embroidery, Orlando Magic hat. I actually got this hat in Orlando like two weeks ago. But yeah, it's like a 35 minute drive, just gonna like chill out and just, you know, just hopefully we're gonna make it there on time. All right, y'all, so I made it to the venue. I'm here super early, you know, it's 8.55. Um, it doesn't matter. You always have to get here early. Um, you know, and just chill out. There's nothing wrong with coming here and just chilling out. Man. So many nights I prayed for this. Thank God I was made for this. My dreams coming true because I'm chasing it. Just that's on my corner, I'm chasing it. But this is all I know. I swear it feels like home. I watch my dreams unfold. But my story is still untold. So many nights I prayed for this. Thank God I was made for this. My dreams coming true. Just finished the gig. This was a really good gig. This wasn't really like a dance, but it was more like um kind of just like a chill kind of vibe. I'm gonna say happy birthday once again to Asia. Thank you for the booking. I feel like everybody was enjoying themselves. One thing that really surprised me that was like a lot of them are like soca people, but I didn't realize until like closer to the end of the the thing yo as soon as i played that song like people that were sitting down for the whole night got up and came to the dance floor and they were like running around i'm gonna insert the clip right here all right y'all it's the next day i'm about to go ahead um Head to Long and McQuaid to drop off the speakers. Um, last night was a vibe. It was it was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing, to be honest, um, from start till finish. You know what I mean? Um, shout out to the birthday girl. Thank you for booking me. Shout out to Jalen for the plug. You know what I mean? Um, it's just a good vibe. I did my thing. You know what I mean? Once again, I did my thing. Like I said previously, like I don't even get nervous for like these type of gigs anymore because I know I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So it's like I just go there and have fun at this point. And especially towards the end, it was a lot of fun. And you know, people were requesting music and like all type. It was just a good vibe. It was a really good vibe all around. I think everybody that was there, that was there, was enjoying themselves and it was a good vibe. You know, they had good food and you know they had drinks and all types of stuff. So that's always good take like a piece of advice if you're somebody like me like a dj like me that books or not books but rents speakers for these type of gigs yo if anything spill if any type of ungodly act were to happen to those speakers it would be on me you know what i mean the, i i have theft insurance but i don't have damage insurance so that'll be money out of my pocket that i'm losing um you have to make sure that you take care of your stuff even if it's not a rental even if it's something that you own you still need to tell people yo no drinks by the dj equipment no you know what i mean you have to make sure because that stuff dj equipment is not cheap especially if you're a dj watching this you know exactly what i'm talking about that stuff is not cheap next thing you know you have your controller you know your, your six seven hundred dollar controller not even that controllers be going for all three thousand and stuff these days yo and somebody's gonna go and and put a drink down and spill it all over your controller you, you can't have that you know what i mean your laptop and everything we all work hard for our things make sure that you take care of your stuff make sure that everybody's respecting your stuff and yeah that's pretty much it man i'm about to bring this back thankfully nothing happened to me but you know i've definitely heard stories i've seen videos and stuff where you know the DJ laptop falling over and all that. And hey, if that happens, the party's over, right? So, no, for real, the party's over. If that well, I know, but like, it's just funny. Like, it's, it's no, for real. People, yeah, people's knocking over the laptop and yeah, all kind and of laptop stuff. Breaking half yeah, the party's done. Yeah, and it's you know what, too, it's not just um, about the stuff like the laptop and the equipment, of course, it's important, but. I can imagine the amount of time you guys must have spent over over the years downloading yeah. music. Yeah. You know what I mean? So for someone to just come and spill their drink or to like mm. break your laptop or whatever, like it's not just the equipment, it's all the time and effort that you put into like yeah, make mixes sure. and all the content that's on your laptop. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's and sometimes I'm sure there's there's content on there that you can't replace. Yeah. You know, like maybe you have a mix on there that you're like, Oh, I 
or a, something on there that is just not replaceable, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't replicate it, so that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, but I'm about to head into this story, y'all. I feel like I... Yo, you see, this is the thing. I was this is my third time going here this week because I came here on was it Wednesday night? Cause I had to get a new microphone, and yo, this lighting is. I think it has auto lighting on it. I think they know my face in this store by now in, in Long and McQuaid because I came here Wednesday night to buy a microphone, and then. I was here yesterday, of course, to pick up the speaker, and now I'm back again today to drop off the speaker. So they're probably like, oh. I'm pretty sure they have clients like that that you know come here pretty often to to rent stuff and whatnot. But you know, they better give me a discount next time I I um I pull up Long and McQuaid. If you're watching this, DJ equipment is expensive, you know. So you know, I'm giving y'all regular what are you business. Doing? I'm giving y'all regular business. You know what I mean? So. I just wanted to point that out, Long and McQuaid, shout out, hit me up, DJQ, 647-460-7559, also contact me, email, bigdjqbeats at gmail.com, alright? Thank you. Thank you so much. One thing that I've learned is customer service. Well, I didn't learn this, but obviously y'all know customer service is very important, right? So basically this morning I sent the client a text and I was like, you know, thank you for booking me. And you know, I just said, if you need any more bookings in the future, just, um, you know, contact me at this number, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like it's very important to do that, especially, see yesterday, that gig, I didn't really know the client personally, but you know, I went, I did my thing, I played well. Um, she enjoyed the music and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, just letting the client know, you know, you can contact me at this number if you ever need a booking again type of thing. You know what I mean? That's very important. Um, whenever you order something online, they send you an email saying, oh, thank you for shopping with us, whatever, whatever, right? So it's the same thing. DJing is a business, you know what I mean? doesn't matter what kind of business you're doing. You're a hairdresser, you're a, I don't know, you sell like whatever you sell text your client and say you know thank you for the business thank you for booking me thank you for trusting me with your event you know what i mean and that goes a very very long way you'd be surprised you know because you know we didn't get to have too much dialogue yesterday but it's important very important you know what i mean and you always want to make sure the client is satisfied so I just wanted to add that in. But yeah, I'm gonna conclude this vlog right here. Shout out to everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video.